Enhanced recurring donations and MPSP allow us to manage our recurring donations to meet our supporters' needs. Let's look at how to change, pause, close, or delete a recurring donation. We'll start with changes to current reoccurring donations. For example, John Burks asks us to increase the amount of his monthly giving from $50 to $100, starting on the first of next month. To do that, we'll find John's reoccurring donation and click Edit. In this case, we're going to change the amount and set the effective date to the first of the following month. The effective date represents when these new settings take effect. After saving, we see the change reflected in the Active Schedules component. We can also edit other reoccurring parameters, like the frequency of the installments or on what day of the month reoccur. Another donor, Roberto Chase, has asked us to pause their reoccurring donation. We find Roberto's reoccurring donation and click the pause button. We select the paused reason and the future installments that Roberto has asked us to pause, then save. This time, the change is reflected in the upcoming installments component. If Roberto is able to donate again sooner than planned, we return to the pause button and deselect the paused installments he plans to make after all. Note that when pausing the fixed length reoccurring donation, the paused installments will be rescheduled to future dates. If the donor's intention is to skip the planned installments instead of pausing them, we have to decrease the number of planned installments as well. When a donor no longer wishes to make their reoccurring donation, we click Close Reoccurring Donation, select the status reason, enter an end date, and click Save. Finally, when we delete a reoccurring donation, NPSB deletes any associated open opportunity. If there are any associated Close 1 opportunities, we won't be able to delete the reoccurring donation. We likely should close that reoccurring donation instead. But if we really want to delete it, to correct a mistake, for example, we must first delete the related Closed 1 opportunities or remove their relationship to the reoccurring donation. Check out the NPSP documentation to learn more about reoccurring donations. Thanks for watching.